really sick of this shit. Look at this SUV. Jamani Williams in his little SUV, guys. Look at this. Guests coming in, yeah. No, no, no. I'm on a city sidewalk. I'm not on your property. You can't record people's cars. I can do that. I'm the. It's a, yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. They do. They actually do that to people too. Whatever they do, sir. Sir, that's a public advocate, sir. And believe me, if y'all stop us from taking video, we're screaming in front of the hotel. Right. Sir, so, you know all the crackheads that live here, sir? I'm not, no, no, I'm calling this out. Jumani, 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 why are you supporting Riders Alliance, Jumani? How dare you, Jumani? We're being stabbed, people are being stabbed on the subway. I was at a crime scene, I was at a crime scene at Atlantic Avenue where a man was fatally stabbed to death. How dare you get in an SUV? How dare you get an SUV to come to a Riders Alliance yeah, event? You are a disgrace. You cannot do this in front of the hotel. It's a city sidewalk, sir. I don't care. I don't care. Show it to the cops. I don't give a shit. This is going to be exposed. Jumani, you're a disgrace as public advocate. Go ahead, make a complaint. Jumani, you're a disgrace as a public advocate. People are being stabbed on the subway. People are being stabbed on the subway. And no, this is what you do? Damn you, Jamani. Brother, I'm upset with you because I'm the president of Passengers United. Okay. I do all the advocacy. I attend all these meetings, brother. Okay. We've reached out to your office and we've never heard back. Who did you reach out to? To many of your staffers. I, I don't want to say it because it's on video. No, I don't want to get them. But I've spoken to your staffers. But Jamani. Wait, wait. If you could tell me who, because I don't like you. I will let you know. I will I'll reach out to you. Okay. I will definitely. But Jamani, this is getting a bit ridiculous. We what's do ridiculous? all. I attend all the MT board and committee meetings. Yeah, what's Riders Alliance okay. tonight. They're pulling a con job on all the people in the city. What's the con job? The con job is when we were calling for more outreach workers in the subway, more police officers in the subway. This organization went and said we don't need police in the subway. They said that. And you know what? Because of them, people are dying in the subway. I go to all these crime scenes at yeah, night. No, I'm there. So we, we have Jumani, your public, I know your talking points, Jumani. So what I'm so saying to you... To, uh, we definitely support additional outreach. I have no problem with uh, law enforcement. What we have been saying is law enforcement alone is not going to solve our crime problem. That's the truth in the subway and outside of the subway. So we're trying to get a more comprehensive approach. Uh, because you see, we did get the offices and we're still having some violence happening so we want to figure out how best to address the violence jamani it's because of the bail reform it's because of all these violent criminals are being let out you can't even walk down 36th street on the west side people so, are shooting up needles the business so owners the over is, here are being terrorized um, the violence is higher in other states so our bail reform didn't affect their bail reform so how would that how would you explain that Jamani, brother, you're no, sitting no, no, no. in an office. Wait, wait. We're is downstairs it, dealing with this situation. You know, I've been assaulted. Wait. wait, I got it. And I'm sorry about that because there's real victims. But what we won't want to do is try to find scapegoats that won't help us. And so what I'm saying to you is, uh, the, first of all, data means nothing to victims of crime. If you're a victim of crime, the data means nothing to you. You just don't want it to happen to you. My daughter rides a train every day. My wife does frequently going to work. So I'm concerned, just like everyone else. But what I'm saying is the reforms you're speaking about didn't affect other states. They're actually having bigger increases in violence than we are. So how would you explain that? Right. So that obviously, I understand you're trying to compare other state data, but what I'm saying to you as a subway rider, because most people who ride the subway overnight, they're not trying to hear all the things that the politicians are I saying. My cousin every Friday takes the, the two trains around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning right. from end to end. And so this concerns me, and I hear you. What I don't want it to do is to use the very real concern and fear to make some of the same mistakes we've made in the past. We're not. Yeah. We're not. And in fact, we, you know, I told the cops, forget about fair beating and all that nonsense. Focus on riding between the cars. But transit employees are getting assaulted. That's Every correct. day they're getting assaulted. There are so many EDPs in the subway. You know, you can't even walk down these streets over here. It's Panic City after so a certain time. Is, uh, I, I do know for the mental health, the more we ask the law enforcement to solve that problem, the less it's going to be solved. Right. That's another issue itself. But I got to run it. Okay, brother. Okay. But brother, let me ask you one thing. 
you you claim to be a progressive, which you know I worked AOC's campaign. I'm friends with AOC. Why is it that the progressives are supporting an organization that has millions of dollars that is sponsored by Google, sponsored by corporations? You know, we well, gotta meet. I'm we not gotta even meet. Sure. Everybody uses the word progressive now, so I'm not even sure what that means. But I know that Riders Alliance, whenever there's issues uh, that I care about in terms of transportation, they're generally supportive. Right. But we actually do more work. I, brother, I got a track record. I've okay. been a uh, community organizer What's 18 years. My name is Charlton D'Souza. Okay. Okay? okay. All right. And definitely your chief of staff. Have a come down so we can talk. All right. All right. So, guys, I will give him credit. He did speak his word. He did. But these elected officials have to understand that people are getting attacked in the subway, we're all being out there, it's crazy. So we gotta expose this stuff.